Yo, what's up guys? Tisha Paul over here and today we have a mukbang. I'm gonna eat sushi for you guys. This is sushi from a supermarket called Tesco. I've done a review um, before where I compared Tesco sushi with Little Sushi, which is another supermarket. And I think Little's is a bit better. The problem with Tesco sushi is that, you know, uh, I don't know, you, you can see that the, the rice isn't as... Could you see that? The rice isn't as um, fresh or, or, I don't know, it's not as sticky as you want it to be. Um, I don't know if you can see it. If you know what I mean, look at that. So what I do is uh, I, I put it in the microwave for 30 seconds and that normally helps the, the rice to get softer. Of course, I don't eat it hot because <laughs> who eats hot sushi, right? Um, I leave it to... I don't know, it's just it's just that when you put it in, in the microwave for 30 seconds, it loosens up the rice and it feels fresh again. I don't know, it just it's just a better way to eat supermarket sushi that's been in the fridge. Um, I have my wasabi here and I have my ginger and I have my soy sauce there you go all of these so I'm gonna put some ginger on my sushi and then I'm gonna put some wasabi what I like to do is I put the ginger on these ones because I don't like these ones as much this is beetroot sushi um, this is mackerel or is this mackerel I think this is mackerel, and I have no idea what this is. I know this is prawn, and this is salmon. So what I do is, because I don't really like the beetroot ones, I fill it up with ginger. And then I put some wasabi on it. That's up next. Wasabi looks a bit yellowish. It's supposed to be green, right? I mean, it, it's green, but it's it's very light green. Uh, okay, and then oh, okay, trying to get that wasabi out. Okay. And then I go ahead and I put some soy sauce on top. So this is lunch, guys. Gotta use your teeth for this one. I'm not gonna struggle with it. I have experience. And then just pour it on top so that it mixes well. Okay, and then I like putting some over here, you know. And then that's ready for consumption. <laughs> okay, so my sushi is ready. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. And how have you guys been? How has your week been? Have you been enjoying my React videos? I hope so. Okay, so this is what the sushi looks like. And that looks like a neat um, thumbnail. How do I do a, a tasty face? Does that look good enough? Oh, that, that doesn't look that nice. Oh, that looks much better. <laughs> I'll see which one looks better. Okay, I'm gonna do this with my hands because, you know, Savage. I'm gonna drink some water and yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the fishy one first. Look at that. This came from a supermarket and it cost me three pounds, which is like three dollars. 
Okay. A very fishy taste. Not my favorite. Very fishy. Okay. Let's go with one of these beetroot sushi. I mean, the rice is good. The beetroot. It's okay, but what gives it flavor is the ginger and the wasabi. Let's try one of these. Not sure what this is. I know it has carrots. What is this? Is this chicken? It looks like chicken. This is duck. Yeah, this is duck. Hoisin duck. Have a bite. What are you guys having for lunch? Let me know. It's nice. It's, it's nice. It's not bad. With salmon and prawn, that's my favorite. I should really eat something else for lunch as well. This isn't like a proper lunch. It's, it's kind of like a snack. It's not that that much. I think it's only 300 calories. Here's a trick for you if you like eating prawn um, sushi. Can you see? It has a tail. So what I do is I put it in my mouth. There you go. You put it in your mouth, you hold it, you pull the tail out, you push it in. You don't eat the tail. Unless you like it. That's a good question. Do you like eating tail? That did not sound right. I mean prawn tail. Do you like eating prawn tail? tail? I don't. Here's some more wasabi. Guys, this should be a thing. This should be a thing. So let's make this the safe word for today. The safe word is hashtag wasabi sushi. I mean, I would just, I would eat seaweed with rice and wasabi that that it should be a thing that's a safe word wasabi it's w a s a b i 1 s wasabi which is it tastes like horseradish well, I think people put horseradish in it so that it will have a kick to it. 
Um, yeah, if you do put that <laughs> in the comments down below, I will appreciate it. And I will know that you're helping me grow this channel to the best of your ability. And I love you for that. Seriously. Give this video a thumbs up. And let's keep going. Let's keep growing. Look at that. That's wasabi with ginger and soy sauce. This should be a type of sushi on its own. I mean, it's an acquired taste. I'm not going to tell you to go ahead and try it. Because the, chin the ginger has a strong flavor. The wasabi has a strong flavor. The soy sauce, it keeps it down a bit. But, man, it's intense. I, I like it because it's intense. That's why I enjoy this one. Because it, it hits you real hard. The ginger is there. You know, it, it, it gives you a kick. So if you like that type of thing, then try it. If you don't, then of course you shouldn't, you shouldn't even think of it. Don't even ponder the possibilities of trying this. <laughs> okay, <clears throat> prawn. Let's do that trick again. Mm? Mm. It's not the best sushi, but if you have sushi cravings, this will do the trick. Man, I love Japanese food. I love sushi. Even if it's supermarket three pound cheap sushi. And in case you're wondering, no, they don't put fresh fish. It's not uncooked. It's not raw fish. So what they do is they, it, I don't know, I think they sear it a little bit. They don't leave raw fish in, in supermarkets because it might be dangerous. So on the package it says, no raw fish in this package or something like that. No uncooked fish or something like that. But it still tastes like normal sushi. I mean, you can see that. Still looks and tastes like normal salmon, raw salmon. Mm. Mm. Does it replace normal sushi? No, not at all. Is it good enough for you to get, you know, satisfied and, and remove your, your sushi cravings? Yeah, it is. I don't feel like sushi anymore. I feel like myself. <laughs> okay. That's it for me. <laughs> that joke was, was too bad. I gotta go. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you on the next video. I'll keep posting my reaction videos throughout the week, so um, whenever you see one, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you think. Comment in the comments. <laughs> and if you are here, if you're a new subscriber that came through the reaction videos, well, if you want to watch my mukbang videos, that's fine. This is what I do. And yeah, thank you. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Keep it real. Bye-bye.